I'm sure she's scratching her head. God, he's not dead yet. How come he's not dead yet? <laughs> Bruce Rivers, he's the criminal lawyer. Well, who is he? Bruce Rivers, he's the criminal lawyer. And who is he? Bruce Rivers, he's the criminal lawyer. And what he do? And he's gonna react to all the self snitching. Oh. Hi, this is Bruce Rivers. Welcome to another fun-filled episode of Criminal Lawyer Reacts. I'm Bruce Rivers, your board-certified criminal defense lawyer. And today we are accompanied by our content genius, Michael Rivers, who is behind the camera and behind every great idea I ever had. So today, you know, I'm going to give you some relationship advice. This is a relationship episode. We're going to talk about, and I haven't seen this yet, this is about a woman getting caught on camera poisoning her husband. Men... This is, I, I feel for you if you're in this situation, if you're feeling a little groggy um, and you feel like you need to hire a private investigator to investigate whether or not your wife is poisoning you, well, go to eSign.com. Go to eSign.com and you download the app. You get three free, free signatures a month and you can hire a private investigator without leaving the comfort of your own home. eSign.com is a very effective way to remotely do business. I use it all the time for all kinds of documents, specifically retainers or powers of attorney. When somebody can't come into the office or you need to get something done quickly, eSign.com, a very effective way to put a check on your wife when you want to hire an investigator or do business or get something done quickly because time is of the essence. Okay. Now, if you have to hire an investigator... Just stop it right there. Just fucking get rid of her, okay? Or him, for that matter. But this is about, uh, you know, have you ever heard that show, Wives with Knives? You know, this is about somebody who's evil, who's slowly poisoning somebody. Now, I haven't seen this yet, so this will be a dry reaction. Dry reaction? Cold reaction. Watch this. Guaranteed. You're going to see purple. Boom. So that's a, a test strip. Based upon the different pH, you can tell what's in there. <laughs> wow. A military wife is now charged with attempted first degree homicide. Why is a military wife, why, why is it, why, what's the significance there? Death benefit. He dies, she gets paid. In almost all these situations, that's kind of what it is. It's either that or a lover, you know? And let me tell you something, ladies. If you're thinking about doing this, um, think again because you're probably going to get fucking caught. And guys, you know, y y you see the women do the poisoning and the guys do the dismembering. Although in our last video, the woman was doing this. I guess we're on a theme here, aren't we, with uh, violent ladies. Never a good idea to uh, destroy another human life. Just no. I'm just a, that's just a rule of thumb. After her husband allegedly caught her on camera, pouring bleach into his coffee maker. He says it was all to get life insurance benefits. Oh, what did I just say? All to get paid. It's either getting paid or getting laid. That's it's, that's one of the two. And it's just so stupid because, you know, if you need money that fucking bad, go make your own goddamn money. God, honey, you make the best coffee but I don't seem to be waking up. So one of the things that you see with poisoning is sometimes just a little bit over time, over time, over time, uh, can have a cumulative effect on with some chemicals. So you'd recommend that over the just instant killing? No, I would not recommend that over instant killing. Whatever's in there is a lot of it. It all started in March 2023, when an unnamed United States Air Force Airman was stationed in Germany. At the time, he lived with his wife, Melody Feliciano Johnson, and their child. Melody Feliciano Johnson. Now, Melody, come on, Melody. You're better than that. Or maybe you're not. Child. The couple is now going through a divorce. According to court documents, he, quote, started noticing that his coffee was tasting bad. He continued to drink the coffee for the next two to three weeks and then ended up buying some pool chemical testing strips as the coffee continued to taste very bad to him. Why the fuck would you drink shitty coffee for two weeks? Mm, this tastes like shit. Here, smell this carton of spoiled milk. Doesn't it stink? I mean, I'll take your word for it. I mean, why the fuck would you continue to do that? <laughs> 
or just make the coffee yourself without the chlorine. Yeah, they call them nanny cams or it's, you know, because sometimes they can catch people like in nursing homes with abuse or a babysitter who abuses children or uh, anybody else. And you see that all the time with these with these kind of cameras. Now, I'm hoping he's not drinking the coffee after he puts the fucking test strip in. In multiple videos, the husband uses chlorine strips to test the water in his coffee maker. Every time, the test strip returns results for high levels of chlorine. And having that camera evidence that... that video footage, that recorded footage of exactly what's going on is the best evidence you could possibly have. Because if it's slowly over time, it's very difficult to prove. Especially because what happens to coffee grinds afterwards? You throw them away. This guy is actually smart. Not smart for drinking it for a couple of weeks, but he got suspicious and um, and she's trying to kill him. I mean, think about that. You're trying to kill him for money. For money. So he's not worth it to you. People will do just about anything for money. But you can see there, by testing the water, it's it's there's nothing in the water itself. So what it looks like he's doing here is doing a test run, you know, have a control. So I'm going to make the coffee myself. I'm going to test the water before it comes in. I'm going to put the grinds in with a filter and then test it when it comes out with nobody else around. See, that purple means it comes back hot for bleach. And a lot According of... According to a criminal complaint, the man, quote, suspected someone was tampering with his coffee, and in May 2023, while still in Germany, he set up a camera in his house. At that point, video captures Feliciano Johnson pouring something into his coffee pot. Yeah, it looks like a bleach container. Here's another thing. So now you got this evidence. And one of the things they'll probably do is look up search history on, on her Google searches. And guess what they'll find? how to poison somebody over a long period of time to make it look like uh, natural causes. Dead. You know... Tonight's the night I caught her on video. So let's test this water. It's going to be purple. Boom. 
hurting another human being is just so not in my DNA. I just, I don't know how people can do this. And this is cold and calculated. So if he were to die, it would be murder motherfucking one. And, you know, and what murder one basically is, is, you know, causing the death of somebody intentionally with premeditation. So, and and the death benefit is usually like a hundred grand, you know, in the military. I I may be wrong, but I I think that's what it is for, uh, you know, the lower level soldiers. And is it really worth a hundred grand to you to, to, to risk the rest of your life? For his and for uh, like a hundred grand, even if it was five hundred grand, even if it was a million dollars, it ain't fucking worth it. I knew it. The man later told law enforcement he prepared his coffee every evening so that in the morning he just needed to turn it on to make his coffee. He alleged between the time he set up his coffee and the following morning, Feliciano Johnson tampered with the machine. Video seemingly captures this, showing Feliciano Johnson checking to see if the coffee maker has been prepared before grabbing something from under the sink and pouring it into the machine. That is cold. And then look at that. That's, that's the best evidence that you, you I mean, you, you can clearly see the bleach bottle. And so what, so when you get something like that, what's your defense? I mean, this is what sucks when you get a case like this because you have no defense. The, the video evidence is so clear, so absolutely clear that, you know, she's poisoning him. But, but what does it mean? I mean, it certainly isn't murder one yet because he's not dead, right? Is it attempted murder or is it an assault? It certainly is an assault. An assault is the imminent apprehension of bodily harm, which she has been doing to him on a regular basis. And so, but what kind of assault? Is it assault one? Probably. Felony assault? Absolutely. There's different kinds of chemicals or, you know, uh, chemical-related assault charges in most states. And think about this. This is a person you're sleeping with. This is a person that you're trusting your life with. And this is somebody that you're supposed to love and they're supposed to love you. This is somebody that, you know, is in your home and and you're being attacked from within. Think about how fucking cold that is. And she ain't even that good looking. And the thing is, you don't want to believe it. You know, you don't want to, ble- oh, she would never do such a thing, you know, and, that, and that's what creates victims. In the shadow of darkness is where some of this shit happens. And it's so frustrating because you don't do this, you don't have the goods. You don't have the goods, you can't build a case. You can't build a case, she gets away with it. So it was really smart of him to set this camera. Later, video shows her husband checking to see the coffee maker she'd tampered with. I mean, look at that. They, they don't live in a really nice place. They got a small little apartment. He's in the military kicking his, you know, busting his ass and uh, doing whatever what he, what he can for his job and supporting her. And her, I know how, how does he get paid? He gets attacked from within. Oh, my God. I just... I'm sure she's scratching her head. God, he's not dead yet. How come he's not dead yet? (laughs) Fuck. Honey, I made some coffee for you. Oh, no, that's okay. I'm fine. I would love to see him try to give her the coffee. Not really. I don't want to see anybody hurt. But fucking hey.
to do this on a nightly basis for two weeks shows a commitment, doesn't it? The husband alleged his wife used bleach as a form of poison, storing the chemical under the sink. Court documents state that at the time, during May 2023, the husband, quote, stopped drinking the coffee but continued to pretend to drink it as he did not want to make a report of this while in Germany. He said he knew his wife would continue poisoning him and wanted to submit a report while in the U.S. That is really patient of him. That's really fucking patient, and it's really smart uh, because he brings her back here and it's a different kettle of fish here, right? I mean, his life is here. He doesn't have to go back there. And But how patient is it? You know, the feds are really patient on their cases. They wait years sometimes before they pounce. This shows uh, discipline and a patience that, uh, that she probably didn't count on. About 15 minutes ago while I was at work, I noticed her come over to the coffee maker and she did something. So I've got my tester. I'm going to add the water to see if there's chlorine and pH is off. Pretty certain it is because I saw the, the bleach bottle over here. I saw it being pulled out. That and one of the things that a court would look at as an aggravating factor are the repeated attempts to poison his coffee. And she, she probably is scratching her head. Why isn't this taking effect? Why, why is he still... I mean, if she's not, she's dumber than shit. Well, she's dumber than shit anyway for doing this. But she's probably even more dumb for... She, she should be realizing that he knows by now. Especially if he's not sick. Was pulled out. And all this recording of evidence is so powerful. So powerful as to render her defense. Defenseless. You can smell it from here. I can smell it. And, and, and it's a little obvious putting chlorine bleach in the coffee pot. That's a little obvious. Especially like he just said, you can smell it. Looks fine. Don't know if it'll actually do anything. If it'll change it since I've already put it in, but let's give it a shot here. Okay. Let's see if it'll do anything. Look at that. Totally changed. You know, how disheartening. I mean, really. I mean, you can have a dispute with your partner. I mean, you can have ir unreconcilable differences and get divorced and hate your fucking partner. Or you can love your partner and they want you dead. I mean, that's what happens here. That would be so disconcerting as a spouse to know that they think so little of you that all they want is your death benefit. More than they want you. <laughs> oh, and then you can smell it. Like, I can s literally smell this. Fix this here. Yeah, I can literally smell this. You can see it sudsed up. Soapy. I can't believe he drank that shit for two to three weeks before he... Oh, gee, I, I think there's some shit wrong with my coffee. I guarantee it's slipped too on the fingers. Just got to catch it in the States. One month later, in late June, the family returned to the United States and was stationed at an Air Force base in Tucson, Arizona. At that point, additional cameras were set up. 
Video captures Feliciano Johnson pour something into the coffee pot and look over her shoulder to see if anyone is watching. By early July, her husband reported his findings to the Tucson Police Department. Court documents state he, quote, showed the officers at the front desk the video, but since you could not clearly see what she was pouring into the coffee maker, the report was taken with no follow-up. At that point, he purchased additional cameras disguised as fire alarms. He set them up in the laundry room and... <laughs> How smart! This guy actually is determined as she is. She met her match with him. ...in the kitchen area where the coffee maker was located. So this morning I checked this coffee maker and the pH and chlorine test came out normal. Uh, so I cleaned my coffee pot out after I made coffee and uh, it drained all day. So I came back this evening and this smells again. So I'm going to do a test. If you have to go to these lengths, these lengths to prove that someone's trying to kill you and that someone is your wife, I don't think marriage counseling is going to work. But the other thing is, guess what? If you prove that she's trying to kill you and she goes to prison, I don't think she's going to get half. I don't think she's going to get half. <laughs> And how many times has he done this now? Just in, I mean, he's probably done this 10 times. Let's put this in. Oh, it smells. I can smell it. this guarantee you're gonna see purple Boom. <laughs> wow Feliciano Johnson was caught on camera multiple times appearing to pour bleach in the laundry room walking it into the next room and then pouring it into the coffee maker look at you got her coming and going that's what we call chain of custody you, when you see something from the beginning to the end. So there's no event that interrupts the flow of what, what was going on. So you know for sure that that's bleach going into that coffee pot. Other times she was caught on camera looking over her shoulder as she seemingly poured the chemical into the machine. So you do control first, before and after. Over and over, Feliciano Johnson's husband captures... One of the ways the government oftentimes tries to prove their case is having, you know, similar types of evidence over and over. Here's an angle from... Here's a picture from this angle. Here's a picture from this angle. The same basic evidence, but over and over and over again. Showing, you know, before and after repeatedly is very compelling. And it's also aggravating in terms of her culpability. Culpability just means her um, level of guilt. Shows this on camera using chlorine strips to demonstrate the alleged poisoning. 
So I haven't tested the wire in a while. I don't know what job this guy had in the, in the Air Force, but he certainly has a sense of completeness, you know, level of detail. There's a methodology to what he's trying to accomplish. And that coffee pot should really be clean by now, you would think. Over and over again. Now, I don't know what he's doing with all these test strips. If he's leaving them around the house, wouldn't that raise a red flag? But she appears to just carry on without, without a care in the world. Honey, would you like a cup of coffee? arrived home about an hour ago and I figured now I decided I'm going to test this to show that it's definitely tainted. So I'll test this water with this new strip. And then I'll use the same strip once I put it in the coffee maker. No big change. It stinks. Several times he showcased. So what he does there is he, he, he's using the exact same test strip in the water before and after he puts it into the coffee pot. And how she doesn't have a clue that he's not fucking dead yet or even sick, you know, is beyond me. Not the brightest bulb. Showcased the coffee maker, saying he could still smell the bleach. I mean, we're seeing the crime happen before the camera, you know, and... You don't get evidence like this of crimes happening very often. Like I do every day, I clean this thing out after I test it. This back is very slippery right now from after I rinsed. It smells like bleach. And if you're putting teaspoons in there at a time or capfuls in there at a time, you know, it's probably only has about that much in there, right? And so you, so you wouldn't notice it. It's not like you, she's filling it halfway. Looks like the bleach has a new location. That purple lid is now over here. Let's see what it smells like. No smell. It doesn't smell.
Other times, he displayed how the coffee maker would become soapy when water was added. Today's the strongest it's been. I've been rinsing out it at least seven, eight times. It's still very sudsy, bubbly, soapy. She was off today. She didn't work. Today's the most that I'm having to clean it. <laughs> Whatever's in there is a lot of it. Don't you just want to uh, confront her and just completely bust her? But, you know, him gathering this evidence like this seals her fate solid. After collecting multiple videos that showed her allegedly pouring the bleach into the machine, Feliciano Johnson was arrested on July 18th. She was taken into custody and invoked her right to an attorney immediately so she wasn't questioned by police. Citing familial ties to the Philippines, prosecutors alleged Feliciano Johnson could be a flight risk. She was later booked into jail on $250,000 bond. Reporting for Long Crime Network, I'm Sierra Gillespie. So what likely is going to happen to her, she's going to get convicted, she's going to get a long prison sentence, and then she's going to get deported. And meanwhile, he doesn't even have to give her half of anything. That is just so awful. There's nothing that can't be fixed between two people that isn't right with both of them. And violence and destruction, killing somebody is never, never, never the answer. Unless it's self-defense. It's unless somebody breaks into your home and is threatening you, you know, and there are rules about that. But this, that's not what we have here. This is domestic violence. It is of the highest magnitude. It's, she's trying to slowly kill him. And thank God he was as smart as he was. So this is our just reaction uh, to the hidden camera in showing that the wife tried to kill her military husband just so she can get paid. It's either getting paid or getting laid. It, those are the two reasons that people you know, do this kind of stuff. We'll see you next time here on Criminal Lawyer Reacts. Love you all. We have the best fans, the absolute best fans. I sound like Trump now, don't I? I we do, though. We absolutely do. And we appreciate all the comments. Appreciate all the all the likes and views, and we got a lot more good stuff coming up. So we'll see you next time here. Criminal Lawyer Acts. Appreciate you guys. Sort of the content genius, and we'll see you next time. Criminal Lawyer Reacts. Make sure you subscribe, follow us on Instagram, follow us on Twitter, sign up for Patreon, and we'll see you next time here on Criminal Lawyer Reacts. I'm part of Bruce Rivers is broke down your case. He know all the charges that you about to face. You ain't coming home till 2058. That self snitching gon' get you put away. Bruce Rivers just broke down your case. He know all the charges that you bout to face. You ain't coming home till 2058. That self snitching gon' get you put away. 23 hour lockdown, please is that my god.